It's about 10, 10 a.m. And here's what I'm looking at this morning. Starting with the MES. Looking on, on, on a for a show at uh, 42.15. MQ and short at uh, 13202. M2K. 1912 MIM, we got a long way to go. I'm still holding the pound long and it started to go well today. Had an opportunity to take it off at the midline, got greedy, thought maybe we'll just come up here and test the heights <clears throat> and uh, it, it did not, so it's still still down some, but I, I there may be a chance for it to move up again and be able to exit at a small loss or break even. Still holding the euro. Uh, again, at midpoint, thought it would be testing either the highs in here, recent highs, or the uh, the uh, resistant one. Um, and I'm still holding the Swiss as well. Started this morning to move. I would have exited a break even at the Swiss for sure because I had two positions and uh, it has not been doing well, but we didn't get the chance. My break even exit would have been somewhere in here, I think. Then I did um, the Euro Pound, I'm short, at um, 84.22. And that's it for now. I did exit at the Open Apple. Long year from yesterday, exited in here at the open. The RTX as well, early exit, but at that time, you know, you have no idea. I'm known. And Hershey's as well, I did exit over here. I'm looking at a few other stocks and um, I'll update later on today. Ms. <laughs> Method. 2022 at 3.20 p.m. and here are my trades for the day. MAS, um, I wanted to sell over on uh, 42.12, 42.15, 42, didn't quite get there, so nothing here. MNQ, got a little closer, I had a limit on the 13.205 that did not get filled. M2K, similar. MYM wants you know, to be close, so nothing in here. I am still holding the pound USD, Euro USD, USD, uh, Swiss, and uh, I think that's it. So, maybe with, with those positions, I'm, I did add, I did add ABC, CHF on, on this level over here, and it's on break even now. Yes, yeah, it's about break even. And then I added the AD New Zealand, and that's up some. This is just a bad tick. I don't think this uh, plus forex prices are not very accurate. It seems like there's a lot of most bad uh, <coughs> bad bars in here. And CAD CHF, I didn't get filled. I put a full. I put a uh, so limit up here and it's not quite filled yet, so I'll just leave it for another few hours. Um, pound started to move my way, got toward the mid uh, and it just fizzled from there. And the same thing with the euro, nowhere. Uh, I did also have a short with the euro pound in here and it's uh, in a slight draw as we speak. And holding on to the Swiss, started to move my way. You know, almost, almost, almost a break even in here. Just started just to wait a little bit more uh, to get to break even. And looking back now, I wish I'd have taken it out of this position. As for new subs, there's nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing. Nothing. This one was no okay setup, and I passed on it that good way. This is again a bad tick as well, so I'm not really sure what happened here. And um, possible one on the pound cap. 
but I haven't taken it from the stump stem. Um, with, with the other positions I mentioned earlier. Swiss, yeah, nothing. Possibly long. Possibly long here as well. I think with the pound, I'm just gonna wait for more extreme moves somewhere in the mid of, of S1 and S2 and, and pass on the, the S1 trait and definitely take the S2. Nothing in here. Nothing. 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 Again, all the bad things. It's really normal. Why is normal down to low? This level in here. And as for the stocks, as I mentioned this morning, I did. I took the loan from yesterday, exited in here, moved up some more, but it's happy with my trade. And same thing with the RTX loan, exited in here. That was my target, but we got, so I took profit in here. Um, and she's the same way, I took a small profit. These are new stocks that I've been thinking about taking, but I haven't quite taken it yet. I'm just gonna watch it for a day or so. I'm noticing that some of those stocks, uh, this is a selection from the S&P 500, are moving beyond uh, R2 and S2. Uh, some seem to come back and, uh, and get back to the mean and uh, will we'll make some money, but others have not, so I'm just gonna watch them for the next few days and see. So today, for example, I would need some money in here. Well, I could have lost a lot in here and not knowing what it's gonna get tomorrow. You know, if tomorrow we wake up and it's, it's get down here or down in here, then, then maybe I'll start thinking about those uh, stock setups. Same thing with BP, I would have taken a short in here, then it, it would have been a nice or oh, horrible draw, I guess. CHW and draw. This is just as well. I'll watch it tomorrow and see if they do prevail. This would have made some money, but not to offset some of the previous ones. AKR, mm, break even. Not, not good. And the break even here. Almost break even. And Definitely would have been a loss. So we'll I'll watch those and, and see. I, I, I've done stocks before and uh, seen, I've seen them go quite extreme, beyond extreme moves. So they don't really work as well as the indices and, and forex. So when I watch them, I may have them, may not, or may take them with option and vertical spreads or butterflies. But for now, that's what I have for the day. I ended up today with about plus 200 and it was, it was a decent day but not much going on.